Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Lady Nika, and with an update to things that matter. Let's talk a little bit more about the two that was charged with the uh, murder of a Clark Atlanta student, okay? Now, on November the 1st, Alexis Crawford was reported missing, right? Just days after she filed a sexual assault report against her roommate's boyfriends. That's what the official said. Now, two people have been charged with the murder after the body uh, of 21-year-old Clark Atlanta University student Alexis Crawford, who was reported missing, was found at a park in DeKalb County, Georgia, on Friday. Okay, One of, those, one of the people, Jordan Jones, 21, who uh, has been described by the police as Miss Crawford's roommate and friend, was booked into uh, booked on charge of malice of murder on Saturday. The police said one Byron or Baron Brantley, described by the police as Miss Jones' boyfriend, was taken into custody on Friday and also charged with malice murder. A spokeswoman for the Atlanta Police Department. Uh, made that statement on today. Mr. Brantley, 21, also faced charges of hindering a person making an emergency call and three probation violations, including battery, cruelty to children in the third degree, and theft by taking, Fulton County inmate records show. The medical ex uh, examiner determined the cause of Ms. Crawford's death on October the 31st was asphyxiation, the police said on Saturday. The developments came after, poli after the police chief of the Atlanta, uh, of Atlanta Police Department said at a news conference on Friday that Ms. Crawford's case has come to one of the saddest conclusions possible and has been absolutely heartbreaking. To Alexis' family, our hearts go out to you, she said. I am so truly sorry that we could not provide you with a better ending. Uh, the police chief said one of the suspects led investigators to the location of the body, but it is not immediately clear who it was or where, who it was or where in the park Miss Crawford was found. A motive is yet not clear. Police did take a report on uh, October the 27th for Ms. Craw from Miss Crawford um, days before she went missing. In this report, Alexis described unwanted kissing and touching from Baron Brantley. The report also named Ms. Jones as a witness. Ms. Crawford was taken to a hospital for a rape kit to be administered and clothing item and bedding were recovered from the scene, the report said. Late November the 1st, Ms. Crawford was reported missing by her mother and two sisters who all said that they last communicated with her on October the 30th. While being interviewed by investigators, Ms. Jones said she was not on speaking terms with Ms. Crawford because of a separate unspecified incident, the report said. Ms. Jones told investigators that she had taken Ms. Crawford to a store where Ms. Crawford bought a bottle of alcohol and later returned home. They last saw each other approximately 12.30 a.m. before Ms. Jones went to her bedroom for the night. That's what the report says. Ms. Jones stated that Ms. A uh, Alexis Crawford wasn't in the residence the following morning when Ms. Jones left for class the next morning. That's in the report as well. Investigators have determined that this is an isolated off-campus incident. A uh, president at uh, Clark Atlanta University has said on Friday, our deepest thoughts and prayers are with her family and with everyone who knew and loved Alexis. Now, so the, it, it's shaping up. We about to find out. Last night, before I even found the update stating that the boyfriend and the roommate had something to do with it. I felt like it had some, especially after they said she had just filed a police report on him days before for unwanted touching and kissing. Now that's ridiculous. Again, this is some more senseless mess that could have not, you know, could have been avoided. This was, boy, this lets you know you can't trust nobody, okay? You can't trust a person living with you. Girl. But as more effort, uh, as more evidence or more uh, things come out about this this case, y'all know I'm gonna talk about it. It really kind of hurt my little heart, but I understand. Uh, I understand that somebody has to carry the torch to keep stories like this alive. And although I am but a small vessel, I don't mind. Girl, this is just sickening. Y'all done played this girl and killed. Mm.
child. I can't wait to find out more about uh what what the uh DNA and all of that on her body and, and her clothing is going to uh, give us. Because something happened in that apartment, and I think that roommate know exactly what it is. But uh, And I think it involves her boyfriend. And that's why she playing like she don't know. But, girl, you better speak up before you end up in prison for the rest of your life for a crime that you didn't commit. That's it. That's all. You guys, remember the death of your struggle will determine the height of your success. In the meantime, in between time, please remember to rate the video. Ratings get me recognized on the YouTube streets. Also, comment down below in the panic section. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are about this entire Alexis Crawford situation. If you have not become a love thing today for the free 99 Please, please, please hit the subscribe button on this channel as well as my backup channel, Lady Nika Live. Also, once you have subscribed to both channels, tap your notification bell button so that each and every time that I go live or do a pre-recorded video from here or over there, you will be notified and you can come and join in the conversation. Guys, tomorrow, because none of us have gone to see Harry as of yet. So the panel discussion will be sometime later in this week coming up. I will get back to you guys on it. I really did take advantage of my little vacation time, child. I ain't going to lie, I ain't seen it. And I found out two of the other people that's supposed to be on the panel hasn't seen it either. So, child, we are out here. You know what I mean? But we will get it going because it's a lot of con it's a lot of people that like the movie. It's a lot of people that has a has opposing opinions about it. And I just wanted to sit down and have a little chit chat and discuss it. But I can't talk about it if I ain't seen it, girl. Okay. Anyway, y'all be easy. Y'all be safe. Roam these streets lightly. Have your whole armor of God on as you travel up and down these highways and byways of this YouTube today. Baby, keep you, be prayed up, have your armor on, and child, you might need to have a little peace that passes all understanding in your purse. That's all I'm going to say about it. That's it, y'all. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.